Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Malfunction here. Um, this morning, wherever you are, welcome to the show. Um, we're still in lockdown, level four here in New Zealand. Um, hopefully in 10 days we'll come out of level four and we'll be at level three. Um, the discussion is that we'll, um, the talk so far from leadership is that we'll be coming out on the 28th. Um, of um, April and probably just in time for my birthday on the 1st of May. All right, let's get on with the show. Okay, so today, uh, this one's all about Danger Girl. And um, I was, I've read Danger Girl on and off over the years. And um, if I remember right, it started way back in 1998. Uh, it's an American comic book series started by uh, created by J. Scott Campbell and Andy Hartnell. Uh, the one I've got in my hand um, here is um, is um, the 2014 May Day, written by Hartnell and art by Royal. Now, this this uh, comic stars in, uh, well a group of three female secret agents: Abby Chase, the lead; Sydney Savage, and Sonia. Savage, who engage in adventures in the vein of other fictional creatures like Charlie's Angels, James Bond, and Indiana Jones. They are led by a former British Secret a um, Service agent named Deuce, and guided by teenage genius Silicon, Silicon Valerie. Now, uh, the main character, Abby Chase, is a uh, champion marks marksman, marks person, marks woman, whatever the common day words you want to use, put it in there. Uh, a champion marksman virtuoso of languages, scholar of world history, and most widely a heart-stopping femme fatale. Though, uh, though, sp um, though spending the majority of her young life as a loner, Abby is both a team, team player and a natural leader. She began her career as a freelance treasure hunter in the vein of, I guess you could say, um, Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, um, and working under the radar outside the law as a treasure hunter. And to this day, Abby still finds herself trying to elude the many villainous characters she has crossed and outwitted in her pre-Danger da danger Girl days. After bumping into the Danger Girls one, um, during one of her adventure filled hunts, Ab Abby shepherded the girls to victory in their first battle against the menacing Hammer Empire. Soon after, Abby became a full-fledged member of this international covert operations unit. She replaced Natal Natalia Cazell as DG's field um, commander. So why am I talking about Daniel today? Well, it turns out that there is a movie that's going to Now I found, I don't know how I come, I think I came across this due to the effect I was looking up uh, this um, this director had also um, worked on or was going to be working on. Now Jeff Ladlo, Wadlow, I should say, Jeff Wadlow, uh, it's the name of ran across as a director because I was trying to figure out what you know what he had done. So let me find out what I worked on and what was the last movie I watched. So the last movie I watched was Truth or Dare. Now I liked it and I thought, okay, this is a 2018 movie. And then also recently he's worked on Fantasy Island. Now I think Fantasy Island is okay movie. It's it's filmed in my in my beautiful birth country of Fiji. Um, and uh, it's got some beautiful scenery. I kind of thought I recognized some of the places because, of course, the, uh, I, I grew up on main on main island of Fiji, which is Viti Levu, a beautiful tropical four seasons and one day type of country. It's quite very close to the equator, and so Fantasy Island, you know, it's like a Fantasy Island. Of course, uh, that's what it feels like when you're actually in your little hub of the hotels and motels. But if you get out of that, you find out it's kind of, there's a lot of poor areas in Fiji. And so, uh, but the beautiful places they filmed in, um, I thought I went to some of them. There was like the giant orc, um, I think the orchid, uh, there's a um, there's a beautiful, um, plant, um, I guess a field, a plantation or whatever, where there's all these orchids. Well, um, I went there and I think it was maybe 2014 or maybe 2010. And I took tons and tons of photos of all the different orchids because my dad used to be a, uh, a orchid, um, champion orchid grower, 
right? And that's the flower, I'm talking about orchid flowers. So yeah, so that was, so Fantasy Island, is, it's like, a, if, it's, okay, it's an okay film. I, I gave it a, a six, I think, if I remember right, out of 10. So uh, then I went, I went, you know, I saw he'd done that. He'd also, like I said, worked on um, Truth or Dare. And um, I think on, he was director and producer on Truth or Dare. And he also wrote Kick-Ass 2. As you, uh, and I'm a huge fan of Kick-Ass. And so he's really, you know, he's really good at these things, um, at these, um, sorry, with, with a female character. So he's really, you know, he knows what he's doing, I guess. Uh, I mean, sorry, not female character, but he knows what he's doing when it comes to action films. Uh, he also worked on, um, worked on Never, um, Never Back Down, Cry Wolf, um, the True Memoirs of International um, Assassin, Agent X, and he also worked on, um, let's see, he was a producer on The Strain, executive co-executive producer on The Strain. So he's, you know, he's already worked on uh, another comic book movie, as I said, Kick-Ass 2. Um, he actually wrote that. Um, I'm not sure he directed that as well. Let me just check here um, if I mentioned that if he directed it or not. Yes, he also directed uh, Kick-Ass 2 as well. Now, he wrote it and directed it. Of course, that's based on Mark Miller's book, um, um, comic book series. Um, and now, lo and behold, like I said, I like to ch if I like somebody's work, I like to check out what else they're doing. So he's going to be in, um, working on the new Up Danger Girl movie, crime um, action crime thriller. So I'm quite excited because I've read, as I said, I've read a, um, a couple of the, um, I think maybe about the first 10 issues or the first arc or something, uh, which came out in 19, um, 1980, 1998, as I mentioned. Also, uh, people have been complaining about J. Scott Campbell's uh, depiction of female in comic books, but they, they don't understand that the audience is for. It's an adventure series and kick-ass chicks. You know, they're not going to be uh, big, pudgy-looking people. They're going to be, you know, Lara Croft treasure hunter, right? So, yeah. So they've been, you know, over the last couple of months, a uh, couple of weeks, actually, they've been, you know, the last month or so, they've been really hammering at Joe Scott Campbell's art style on Twitter. And it's like, especially people who probably don't look that well. And that's okay. I don't look that well. But I'm not going to complain about guys with, um, you know, that are muscle bound and stuff. And I think that's the problem with people. People take it everything personally, everything about themselves. So if they don't see something like them themselves in, in movies or, uh, or in uh, TV or in um, comic books, they think, well, I'm not being represented. It's like, does it really matter? Because it's a fantasy. So, Danger Girl, uh, slotted to be, um, I guess, his next movie after Fantasy Island. Uh, fantasy Island, I, don't, um, I think it's got a bad rap, to be honest. I think um, it's really, and I think that that's a bad, uh, that's a sad thing. Uh, I think uh, it costs around about $4 million. Yeah, I gave it a six out of 10. I'm just looking at IMDb here. Um, so that's, let me just pop this out again so you guys can see it. Let me just see if you're able to watch that there. Yeah, so this is the, um, the 2014 series by Hartnell, the co-creator of Danger Girl. Now, Fent Fantasy Island, of course, uh, is based on the 1980s, late 70s, uh, TV show, which I grew up watching. I quite enjoyed it as a kid, just sitting out there watching Tattoo and Mr. Rock, and it was just cool. The plane, the plane. You never you never forget that line, you know, as a new batch of um, uh, guests arrive. And, of course, um, sorry, yeah, it is a many show, of course, went in the 80s, but, yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I thought it was okay, and I think um, Michael Penner did a good job. I was kind of... Um, it, it, you know, I, I kind of thought it was like um, ticking all the boxes. And I think that's what um, maybe annoyed a lot of people. It's like, uh, it was like so diverse and cast, you kind of like went, <laughs> okay, enough, enough already, come on. And like, it was just got over the board, some of the storylines. But it's an enjoyable movie. Now, it was shot last January in 2019 in Fiji with the principal of photography. And I, I just thought it, was, it's, it doesn't deserve the bad rap it got. So I'm quite looking forward. So I guess it was made, here we go. It was made on 7 million and it made 47 million. It came out on the 16th of February. Hey, 
wasn't around long before the virus hit. It could have done more. But guess what? It made back the money, right? Tenfold, uh, fourfold, I guess. So uh, 40K, uh, 40 million made on a uh, estimated $7 million budget. I guess they spent $3 million on uh, promotion. So yeah, still, they made $30 million profit, which is good, especially on a low budget film. So you, ca you can't really expect too much. Now, it's saying that it was filmed at Tava Uni. Now, if I, I can't remember if I've been to Tava Uni, but yeah. I think that's on the mainland. All right, so um, yeah, that's basically it. I think it's going to be a like I, I, I can trust I can trust Jeff Wadlow with 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 Danger Girl. I think he can do a good job. I think he's capable of it. Especially you know, um, Kick Ass Two was cool. Uh, his work on The Strain was pretty cool. I liked um, the story with um, if I remember right, he wrote. Um, let me see. He also wrote, um, he did write um, Truth or Dare. And yeah, I recommend Truth or Dare. I thought it was a good movie as well. Uh, let me just check if he's written that one um, himself. Or if it was uh, co written. Yeah, so it was co written. Um, actually, there's quite a, f well, there's five people on this uh, committee kind of thing. So it was, there's Gillian uh, Jill Jacobs, Christopher Roach. Uh, Jeff, L L um, Jeff Wadlow, as I said, and Michael Reyes. So the story was by Michael Reyes. So, yeah, it's an all right movie. Uh, Lucy Hale, uh, if I remember right, she's been in a couple of his movies, which is, I, I, I guess he likes, he likes his act, her acting. So she's, um, let me just see here. Uh, she's actually Katie Keene, uh, Lucy Hale, who's in... Um, who's in Fantasy Island, and also, if I remember right there, in Truth and Dare. So she's playing the main characters in both. So if you're watching Katie, um, Katie Keene now from the um, Archie Comics um, modernization, uh, which is uh, Riverdale, so she's Katie Keene, the comic book character. So, yeah, so nothing more to say there, but, hey, uh, this is, a, if you're thinking about, what, sh what comics I should read now? Why not give Danger Girl a go, right? So these are really cool, cool adventure, sh um, action adventure um, series. And of course, you know, it's written by the co um, look at the artwork on this, right? It's amazing artwork. And it's just the best, I think, uh, when it comes to adventure comics. It's a really, really cool action packed. Um, as I said, there's th um, three females. Uh, and it's just amazing um, artwork. I didn't think I had this whole set. This is what happens when you, you know, you come find out something online and you go, oh, I wonder if I've got that. I think I've got that. I remember what I got that. But this is a good thing about bringing all my comics out and being able to get through that for these videos and making sure I've got them. So if you're looking at something to invest in right now, Danger Girl is worth investing in. And if you're able to, you know, get it, go for it, right? Because there'll be value to it. Just like every time the movie comes out based on anything or a TV show, especially when it comes to comic books, it's a good investment. Not always works out depending if the show is good or not, but if you're able to get it cheap, why not get it? So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, there's yeah. Danger girl movie coming up soon, I guess. Yeah. Of course, we won't be able to see it for another year or two because of the pandemic um, with all the, you know, but I guess they've already written a script or such. Um, I think, if I remember right, he is, um, I think he already wrote um, a script for this himself, but I, I suspect he's, he has co-written it um, because, um, let's see, let me just make sure. Adaptation, but... Yuma Alim. So I have, I'm not aware who this person is. So I'm just going to do a quick check what he's worked on. So he's worked on Kate, uh, which is in post production. He's worked on another movie called Extraction, which came out in 2015. So let me see if this guy is with uh, Weight and Gold. And usually, you know, a writer can write as good a story as possible, but the director and the studio will come up. It's usually after with uh, make a you know ends up being a high budget film or not. But yeah, so there you go. Um, 
a movie coming up soon. Thanks so much for watching. Kakiteano, wherever you are, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Catch you next.